What is good everybody? Welcome to a new video. I hope you all are having a great day. First of all, I'd just like to say I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while on this channel. I posted a couple videos on my Zach Cook Vlogs channel. If you aren't subscribed there, go ahead and subscribe. That's where I post my vlogs and stuff. But I'm very happy to announce that the flipping videos are back. Kind of took a break from the flipping videos for a while. And I'm not going to be actually flipping cars again yet. I took a break from it for a while because I was trying to get a job and stuff. And now that I have a really good job... I figured I'd go back to it as a little side hobby and stuff. So, as you can see, a lot of this stuff hasn't sold yet. All this stuff hasn't sold. So, what I did was I went ahead and listed it all up on Marketplace for free just for someone to come pick it up. Either that or I'm taking it to the dump because I don't need it. This stuff has just been sitting here for months and months piling up. By the way, guys, I have five tattoos now. I kind of went on a little spree of getting tattoos. I kind of fell in love with tattoos. So I got three new ones um, in probably like the last two weeks. So I got this one first, which is two Chinese numerals. It means family. And then second, I got this one on my chest, which is a goat. You know what I'm saying? Not trying to show you guys my titty there. You know what I'm saying? And then third and finally... I got the red eye logo, the Hellcat red eye logo. This is going to be my last tattoo for a while. Uh, the next tattoo I'm going to get is going to be a start to a sleeve, but that's going to be a couple months at least. So tomorrow I'm going to pick up some furniture. I'm not going to ramble too much, so I'll just see you guys tomorrow. And just like that, it is the next day. Today, guys, we're going to go pick up a couple things to flip, pieces of furniture. But before we do that, I'm about to ride up to Goodwill and see what we can find there. Let's get it. Okay, guys, so I forgot Goodwill was closed today. So, um... Yeah, it's closed. We're about to head over to Lowe's, which is right over there. I need to pick up some tools for my new job and stuff. So I'm head over to Lowe's, pick up some tools. Get up, you get what I'm saying? And then you do that. And then... Damn! Stupid bitch! Hey, get her! Stupid motherfucking bitch! Fucking cop sitting right there and don't give a fuck. If you avoid collisions, you're a good driver. There's a lot of crazy ass people on the roads. So just be safe out there. Um, even if it could just be like a little minor collision like what could have just happened up there you're a good driver if you avoid that shit so yeah what's up y'all I just got home show you the tools I got real quick so I just picked up a couple basic things um, pretty much we picked up this last night actually a box cutter with some blades got a little pry bar good pair of snips B square hammer um, I always get the fiberglass hammers instead of the wooden ones because they last longer. A pair of channel locks and a nice tool bag from Lowe's. The next day. Alright y'all, so I just got off work. I'm about to head up um, the road from my house and pick up a marble top table. We said we'd be there today after work at about 4 o'clock. It's about a little after 3.30 now, so we're about to head up there and pick that up. Trying to be strong. All right, y'all, we got the table and shit, so it was 25. I asked if she take 20. She said, yes, she take 20. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was, but it's all good. At least we got it, so we out of here. Okay, y'all, so we just got home. It's a little late. It's probably pushing 8 o'clock, 7.30, something like that. I didn't check the time yet, but we got this bike right here that I'm about to unload. It's literally brand new. Still got the tags and everything, and um, the owner sold it for $60, bro. We got the bike, and yes, I brought it inside because it's starting to rain a little bit. And as you can tell, it's brand new. <laughs> it's literally still got the Walmart shit on it. And then we got this little table right here. Now, this actually might be a lost cause just for the simple fact that I thought this table was bigger. Now, we did only pay 20 bucks for it, and it's also a little bit unstable and wobbly. You know what I'm saying? But from a distance, it still does look very nice. So I'm not exactly sure um, if we'll be able to get too much big of a profit out of that. But if I get my 20 back... I'll take it, you know what I'm saying? As long as I don't lose any money, I'm not complaining. This shit's cool as hell. I actually like this bike. I wanted to keep it for myself. But we are starting the flipping series back, so we're going to try and flip this for maybe double the profit. If we pay 60 maybe we can get 120 out of it. The next day. What's up, guys? I just got home from work. Um, it's Tuesday today, and I have a guy coming right now to pick up this file cabinet. Damn, that scared the shit out of me. And I told him I'd give him to him for free just because I need to get this stuff out of here so I can make room for some new stuff to flip. This stuff was the stuff that never sold. I've said this like a million times. 
but these two are getting out of here today and the rest I might just throw away honestly if I can't give them to him he said he needed a lot of stuff because he went through a divorce or some shit I'm just gonna give him anything he wants here because we don't need it otherwise whatever he doesn't take we're just throwing away Guys, am I buying too many bikes, dude? Like, I want you guys to answer this question right now. Am I buying too many bikes? Because we got this one we pay 64, and we got this one we just actually pay 54, bro. I got this one for less than this one. And this one's way bigger. This is actually like a mountain bike. Like literally, if you look at these two bikes, you would think I bought them from Walmart, bro. But I didn't. I know I didn't buy them from the same person either. I got these from two different people. And I think it's just a huge coincidence but I do search a lot. What's good guys, I just got home from work. Today is Wednesday, and I had a dude today text me at work about the big gauntlet bike that we picked up yesterday. Um, if you don't remember, we picked up two bikes in the past couple of days, both brand new, but uh, he said he paid 100 for it, so that's a $50 profit, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna sell that, hopefully. But for right now, guys, we're about to watch the Mavs versus the Clippers. All right, y'all, so dude just texted me from last night. He takes me again um, a while ago and he's interested in this blue Genesis bike. So he stays pretty far away, like 45 minutes. So I'm gonna meet him halfway. And um, then while I'm there, I'm probably gonna pick up another bike that I seen for sale. He said he paid 100 for it and we paid 60 for this one. So that's a 40 profit on that one. That one over there is gonna probably be sold in the morning because the dude couldn't make it today. He had to work late or something. So that one's gonna either be sold in the morning or sometime coming up. Um, but he definitely is interested. He told me to hold it for him and stuff, which usually I don't do, but the dude gave me his phone number and stuff. I talked to him. He seems genuine, so I'm going to hold it for him. Okay, y'all, so we got the bike in here. As you can see, we got it bungeed up. Yes, sir, this bitch ain't going nowhere. Put the trunk down, and we good to go. Let's get it. Damn, brakes don't sound good. Be a brand new fucking bike. Bitch, it sounds squeaky. Yes, I bought another bike. As you can see, this one I actually bought straight from Walmart. Since I'm finding bikes that look like they came from Walmart, I might as well buy one from Walmart. You feel me? So, yeah, actually, the guy's on the way right now to pick this one up. Like I said, he's buying it for 100 As you can see, the shit is brand new. Then this one, I'm not going to say anything until I get back home, but. I got some plans for this bike, so stay tuned. Yeah, 190. That's 10. Uh, appreciate it. You don't be getting these on a regular? I mean, I do, and then I sell some of them. A lot of times, I look, up, I look for them on Marketplace. I ain't even going to lie to you. I be flipping them and shit. Can you give me, like, an electric bike? Like, or an electric scooter? Or an electric bike? You talking about a little, like, electric kick scooter? Or, like, an actual moped? Not a boat, but, like, a kick scooter. Well, even I take one of these that got a little, little motor on it. Motor. Yeah, it's for my Sunday. So when you come across anything else, man, just hit me up. I, I, I do straight bread for you next time. Hey, Sunday. add me as a friend. I got you. Alright. Be safe getting back home, bro. Already? I had a. I do. I look like right now. It's murder this one. Nah, man. I ain't got anything. That's just why I done it so damn much, man. You feel me? I got you. Hey, but, um. Yeah, man, be safe getting back home and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have you. I appreciate it too, bro. No problem, bro. Next day. What's good y'all? So I just got home from work. I actually just walked in the door like 30 seconds ago and Cheeto already jumped on me, you know what I'm saying? But anyway guys, I hope you like this video. Um, those two bikes over there are going to be sold in the next video, so stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys like this one. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to join the squad. Peace.